hello welcome to this video on how you protect a workbook how you protect a worksheet and how you format your excel for printing so i have here the sample table of a fictitious data of internally generated revenue of states in nigeria and well it's not well sorted so i'm going to do the sorting let's start with the state sorting from a to z to do that, I select the entire table starting with the, the row that contains the states. And then I'll right click, I'll go to custom sort, then I'll say my data as header, and I'll say sort by state, then order A to Z. So now I have it you know, from Abia state to Zamfara, A to Z. Also, you will notice my the months are not well sorted. So in my table, the months are not well sorted. I would like to have it go from January to June. So to do that, again, I will need sort, custom sort. But this time around, I'm going to untick my data as header. So I'll say it doesn't have header. And this, I'll go for options and say sort left to right, not to the usual top to bottom so go ok and uh, the months are actually in row 2 so sort oldest to newest start from January to June ok so we've fixed the formatting I mean the sorting of this arrangement of this data it's better this way and to make this show fully I'll just double click here so now Let's say I have this report, but I don't want people to, I need to send it to, to other people in my department, but I don't want them to be able to edit it. I don't want them, there are two ways of restricting them. I can, I can lock this entire file, you know, this whole file itself. So once they get it, without my password, they can't even see what is in it. They can't open it. That is called protecting workbook. The next is simply protecting the worksheets, which means they'll be able to see what is in the workbook, which actually means they'll be able to see this, but they won't be able to make any changes. They won't be able to edit it or do some other things I don't want them to do on it. So let's start with the protecting workbook. How do you protect a workbook? You go to file and you can see here, you see protect workbook. So. I'm going to say protect encrypted password. This is the usual one. So these ones, I hardly use them. But this is the one when you hear protect workbook, 90% of the time, this is what we are referring to encrypted password. So I'll click on that. It's going to ask me to set the password. So I'm going to set a password to make it easy for me. In your own case, you need to set a password and people can't guess easily but for me I don't want to stress myself I'm going to call it password and then type it again password so you can see um, you notice say password is required to open this workbook so this is done but you, you're not going to notice any difference now until I close it so I'm going to save this and I'll close now I'm going to try to open it. So this is it. Open. It's going to ask me for password. So wherever I send it to, this is what they will get to. Once they double click to open the file, they get this. So I'm going to say password. Voila. So that is the first layer of protection. And it's more like protecting the entire workbook. So whoever doesn't have the password, cannot access the workbook so the next is protecting the worksheet so let's say I don't want you to be able to edit the worksheet you know, I don't want you to be able to change the values so how do I force force you not to be able to change the value I can decide to do that for the entire sheet meaning I'm going to lock the entire sheet so if I want to lock the entire sheet it's very straightforward all I'll need to do is come to review. So I'll say protect sheets. So 
now it's going to give me options of what i want to allow the users to be able to do if i wanted to be able to just select select the cells you know you, but not be able to do much more than that you can only move across the cells using the arrow keys i don't want you to be able to format cells i don't want you to be able to format column i don't want you to be able to do all these other things so i'll just tick which by default exit has ticked this for me so i'll leave it that way this is one of the lowest access you can give anyone on an excel sheet so i'm going to give in a password so once again i'll use password I made a mistake so it's going to ask me to retype it and so i've locked the sheet i've locked the entire sheet so i can select which is what you remember we ticked or every other thing like edit if i try to go into this cell uh, and edit i get a error notification if i try to do other things like some of you did complain that you couldn't you couldn't edit a chart in one of my assignments it was because i did something like this i didn't give you the access to edit the chart so you will notice almost everything in the menu has grayed out i can't do any other thing they've all grayed out in south most of the most of the functions the field functions the formula most of the two functions are grayed out and uh, so that is how you protect a sheet so how do you unprotect the sheet it's also the same you go to review unprotect the sheet password does that also here I have protect workbook so this is if I want to protect the workbook for the structure of the workbook you can't you can't add you can't add if I say structure it means you can't add extra sheets you can't you can't delete sheets it's more like whatever I've said I've sent to you it's fixed that way you can't edit in terms of structure of that workbook you can't change anything so this is protect the workbook structure the other one I did which I called protect workbook it's more protect file anyway so you can you can want to take a you might want to take a mental note of that so I've protected the workbook I can't I can't insert sheets I can't make some you can see so many things I have grayed out as regards editing the sheets so this is how you protect workbook not to me I don't see it so very useful so let's unprotect it's gonna ask me for password so once again I'm back I can add I can add extra sheets so how about the initial one we did which was the file how do I unprotect the file so to remove the password for the workbook which is you know if you notice here it is also called protect workbook so if I want to remove it which is unencrypt remove the, the encryption so how do I do that I think I have to just set the password to nothing and then it's done so if you notice it's not longer showing that I've protected it so that is done and that is how you protect a workbook you protect the worksheet and you protect the workbook structure so next is let me show you how you do formatting for printing let's say I need to print this if I do file print I'll be shown a print a print preview now I don't like this it has cut my table in a way I don't like you can see the states on the revenue up to February and then I'm going to have a sheet that's just with this. This doesn't make sense. I'm not intending to glue the sheets together. So I need to make changes to this. I need to make Excel print it the way I want the entire table printed. So how do I do that? From here you can you can say you can say print selection uh, but I don't prefer I won't advise you do the changes in here. There is a dedicated 
to a dedicated menu tab for making all these changes for formatting for printing and it's on that page layout so here I know I have I know I have about 37 states and I have revenues I can decide to print them so so as to make these revenues take a be much more bold when I print them out so whoever is reading them won't have to find a magnifying lens I can decide to print in a portrait format I mean in a landscape format so landscape means I get more space to use for the things across the rows so I'm going to go with landscape so let's do the print preview if I do ctrl P you see the effect you can see here I'm beginning to have more space for this makes more sense in fact I'm being able to take care of Every, everything which is state down to the, the June revenue so I don't have the only thing I have splitting over are some other states but I don't have like before where it ended in April and it put May and June in another sheet so this is this is a good improvement but ordinarily this is what you should do you should select the table you want to print exam might figure it out sometimes exam might not it's always good so you get to learn everything sometimes what you want to print might not be just one more ta one table there might be some other things here you want to print alongside or there might be other things here and you don't want to print Excel might by default want to print everything in the sheet for you so it's best you do the selection of what you want to print once you've done that selection you come to print area you say set as print area so you are forcing Excel to print only what you've selected so now I've already done one other thing which is I want to print it in landscape good next is I need to tell Excel what I want I want everything to fit on one page okay let's start with I want everything to be one page wide I don't want it to split anything across this header I don't want it like it did before where it splitted you know it stopped that April put May and June on another sheet I don't want that so I can say the width should be one page wide. So also if I don't want it to shift any states downwards, okay, let's do that. If I want every all everything here to to fit to one page, you know, I don't want it to shift some of the states to another sheet. I can say height fit on one page. So let's see what will happen. I'm going to do Ctrl P to see the print preview. You can see everything is on one page. From Abia to Zamfara. This is good, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to leave the height to automatic. Then you see what will happen. You will notice it's using more space. I'm beginning to have more space for my from for across the width of the you know, across the rows. The other time the entire table shrunk to something like this. You know, it was stopping around there. So it was making my font size reduced. So I like it this way. The only other thing is I'm beginning to have some data spill over to another sheet, to another page. So this is good in itself, except that whoever is going to see this sheet will have a trouble figuring out what is there. There is no header here. There are no headers here. You will always have to go look in the first page and that is not good. So I'm going to tell Excel to repeat these two rows in each of the pages and also in this page. So whenever it's going to get look at my reports and when it checks this page too, it will be able to know who oh, Taraba is a state. This is January revenue. This is June revenue. So how do you do that? It's very easy. You come to you come here on that page setup click this then you you come to add down foot yeah you come to sheets so you come to sheets and then you say repeat repeat rows to repeat at the top I want it to repeat these two rows in my own case so I want those two rows to be repeated and that is it also here if you want to print comments if you want Excel to print the comments that I need because by default Excel is not going to print comments so if you wanted to print out the comments 
then you say print the comments you can tell it to print all the comments group them to the end of the sheet or print them as they are displayed on the sheet and if you if you're doing if for any need you need to print the grid lines this is going to be an unusual case the grid lines are these lines that normally are invisible when you print but if you want to print them you can there are so many other things you can edit you can enable in here so this is more like settings for the sheet itself but for our own example here our case here we only need to have our headers repeated in each of the pages so that is what i've done here if you want to repeat some columns let's say you couldn't fit everything into one page wide and you have to split you have to spill them over to another page you could decide to repeat some columns you could decide to repeat the state column so you'll have done something similar to that in here too in our own case everything is fitting one page wide it's just that it's not fitting one page high so we are only repeating column rows not columns so i'll go with ok once i do ctrl p now if i scroll to the next page voila i can see this is making sense and this is what i want so if i print i can decide oh yes i'm okay with these let's print my printer is offline so and that is how you print for Excel. Thank you. And don't forget to visit our don't forget to visit our website. Thank you.